Hey guys, Jeff here with Osa Gaming, and we are back with another From Console to Screen. This time we are tackling the 2015 release of Hitman Agent 47. This is the second of the Hitman movies, and is based on the Hitman franchise of espionage, stealth, assassination games. We're going to take a look at all of the elements that make up this movie, and we're going to see how it fares compared to its video game counterparts and other uh, video game movies as a whole. So let's get started taking a look at the story. Hitman Agent 47 is a movie about the titular agent and his mission to stop the syndicate from getting a hold of the scientists that originally created the agent program. His whole job is to stop them from being able to make more super soldiers like him and be able to do, well, horrible things with this as you know most typical evil corporations generally try to do when they get access to uh, super soldiers. The movie itself is very well paced. It keeps a solid mix of action and character bits. You get to see a lot of uh, Agent 47 in and out of missions, kind of getting a better glimpse of what he's like when he's not on mission and when he's on mission. He's a very methodical and very precise assassin, very good at his job. And as you progress to the story, he starts interacting with different characters, including the young girl, uh, Katra, who is on the run, but also trying to find somebody that she doesn't know who it is. She discovers later that the person she's looking for is her father, and that the Syndicate is also trying to find him because, well, they want what is in his head. As we discover a little bit later, uh, her father also modified her like uh, he did the agents to make her smarter faster all that kind of stuff but they actually play it up fairly well it's a very interesting sixth sense that she seems to have where she can use her very excellent memory and senses to create almost uh you know or her primary five senses to create a sixth almost predictive sense and it makes for very interesting. The smart thing about this movie is it doesn't try to spend a lot of time explaining their science the reason you know, this Agent John Smith that is uh, hunting them through most of the movie has subdermal armor, or how the, the process made Agent 47 and the others like how they were, or how they uh, made Catra how she was. So it was very good that there's enough science for it to be believable in the fiction of the world that it's in, but it doesn't try to over-explain all of that fiction. You know, it's, uh, as a whole, if you haven't actually played the games, you can actually just watch this as a, a solid uh, thriller because it really, it really paces very well. You get to see, you know, uh, how everything is planned out. There's a lot of really planned moments and setup for Agent 47. There's a lot of really good training moments for Catra and a couple of uh, bits that really keep the action going and keep the pace moving. All in all, it's actually a really good story. So with a final rank for the story, we're going to give it an A. Really good, uh, solid thriller story that, you know, paces well and doesn't really drag anywhere that would make it, you know, unbelievable. No in, in crazy science stuff or anything like that. Next up, we're going to take a look at the costumes. So the costumes for this one is actually very straightforward. The only thing we're really worried about is does Agent 47 look like Agent 47 from the games? And that's from his silver baller uh, 45s to his red tie, the tattoo, everything, you know, even just the way he bury, uh, bears himself and carries himself as a character. Uh, you know, it's a really good... Uh, hitman like he looks really good you know you would see him and you can see the hitman cover for the game and you're on you're on it's it's pretty much on point other than that nothing else is ridiculous or over the top there's no goofy costumes in the background from any of the the soldiers or other agents or you know other groups within the syndicate or anything like that so it all stays very clean they don't try to super weird it out and it's just solid it looks like it would in the game so I'm giving the costumes an S. It really actually works perfectly on point for what you're looking at. The game itself, the only thing that really needs to stand out is Agent 47 himself. 
he just, you know, when he's wearing his black suit and red tie, he's got it. And you're good to go. Next up, we're going to take a look at the special and visual effects. So this one was a very simple movie for that. A lot of the uh, effects more come down to fight choreography and, you know, believable uh, blood spatter and that kind of stuff. So some of it is really fictiony, but it's within the scope of the game and the movie. So it doesn't really hurt it in any way, shape, or form. It stays very clean all the way through, and the... The combat effects are great, they're not ridiculously over the top, but at the same time, it denotes you've got a guy with subdermal armor, you've got another guy who is essentially a super soldier, and they fight as such. It's not ridiculous over the top, they're not throwing cars at each other, but punching holes through concrete and plaster, on point. Sending a guy flying across the room because they're really strong, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh backflip, you know, kick uh, kick flip to get back up and shoot two guys on the way up. You know what? He's a super soldier. It's believable. It's believable enough that it fits, once again, within the fiction of both the movie and the game. Obviously, we don't see quite that much um, physicality and acrobatics, say, maybe in the games, but it makes for really good cinema, and it works really well. As a whole, the visual and special effects, the fight choreography, we're going to rank that at an A. It does its job really, really well. It doesn't try to be anything it's not. It's not trying to be a wire foo film, but it plays enough off of the aspects of being certain characters being stronger, faster, that, that it works really well. A lot of the visual effects are very clean as well. So here we are, source accuracy. Let's take a look at this one, and all in all, right off the hop, it's actually not too bad. There are a lot of uh, points that are right on, so how uh, the Hitman, Agent 47, actually functions. Him, personality and character-wise, is actually pretty good. He's, he's right where he needs to be if you were to play enough of the games and play into enough of the story to know about him. This works really well. The uh, nod to several other characters, Diana is uh, his handlers through much of the franchise. And even you get a couple of points, it's a very small part of the movie, but you get some points where you get to see the whole costume changing thing that he does, where he'll switch into different outfits to blend into different parts. He does that really well. They throw it in. It's not super cheesy shoehorned, but it fits the context of what he's doing in the situations that he's in. Now, the other interesting thing, and in doing a bit of research on the Hitman franchise as a whole, is that this actually uh, carries off of the a base of the story of Hitman Absolution. So, Hitman Absolution actually features the story where uh, Agent 47 is protecting this teenage girl from an organization called the Franchise, who want uh, her because of her special abilities and things like that. So it's very similar. It's not the same character as the character in the movie. So that's where the characters uh, or the movie steps away from it, but it doesn't step it away from it in a way that doesn't feel like it may just be another part of the Hitman franchise as a whole. Many other nods to the games are there, including the methodical gameplay where, you know, you look at some of the various bits and the, some of the setups and uh, that are, you know, reminiscent of some of the best Hitman players out there where he plans at all of his stuff. You know, there's some people that are like, oh, there's too much run and gun action in this movie that just doesn't fit the Hitman franchise. But honestly, if you look deep enough into the games and you play enough of the games, you find there's plenty of moments where everything uh, goes to hell and it's guns a-blazing or the mission is just outright that. Guns a-blazing, you can't stealth this, this is how it's got to be done. And even when they get into some of the the more uh, heavy moments, there's still a lot of that. They're planning where they're going. All the actions are meticulous and it's all set up. And it really exemplifies what Agent 47 is as a whole. So I think all in all, while there are certain elements that may not carry over from the games, also because of trying to keep a movie pace, I'd say that the... Uh, the source accuracy as a whole, by rank, is an A. It's pretty close. Yes, instead of the franchise, it's the syndicate, but minor name changes and name drops like this don't really detract from the overall appeal 
and the overall accuracy of the attention to detail to make Agent 47, Agent 47. And this, this is the concern. The mission, you know, almost any mission could have been thrown in here. And this could be a great series of, of movies for that because of the nature of the gameplay. But it ties in really well and it pays enough nod to the original source to be fairly accurate as far as I'm concerned. So finally, let's figure out, is this movie fun? And honestly, I think so. I think it was a really fun action thriller movie, you know, that really pays good tribute to the Hitman series of games. It's fun to watch. The action is great without being ridiculously over top. It's really interesting to see how Agent 47 and Catra function. The uh, opposition from John Smith and from the Syndicate is actually really well done without being ridiculous. Uh, you know, mustache twirling villains, and some of the well-placed humor and commentary between Agent 47, some of the other characters, and some of the other stuff in the story is actually just really genuinely funny and really enjoyable, and it breaks some of the, the heavier monotony at several points. So, yeah, I think this one is really fun. So our final rank for the fun factor in this game is A. It really is just fun to, to, to watch and and enjoy really all right so we have taken a look at all of the elements that we look for in these video game movies finally it's time to get its final score and see how well agent did uh, agent 47 did uh, on his mission here to make a good video game movie and our final rank for hitman agent 47 is a as a whole, it's actually probably one of the better video game movies out there. Unfortunately, it actually wasn't very real, well received, and a lot of people, I think, kind of expected too much Hitman game and less Hitman movie. The biggest problem for a Hitman movie, based very, very, very strictly on the games, is it would be extremely slow-paced. Extremely slow-paced, because you look at it, and anybody that's playing the game to try to be silent and everything like that is going to be spending a lot of time learning your routes and stuff like that. Agent 47 has those those benefits without having to spend a ton of time. Plus, they can do some of that prep off camera. So some of the stuff that would happen in the game is already happened before certain elements get. So we get to actually get to the fun bit where it's executing all of your plans and everything like that and having it all go exactly how you planned it to be. It is the best moments of a really good session of Hitman. It really is. Those perfect takedowns, those moments where nobody sees you coming and away you go, or perfectly executing a guns a-blazing getaway. All in all, I think you should check out Hitman and Agent 47, and thank you for joining me for this video. We will be back again with more of these movie reviews. We've already got a bunch already that will be in a playlist at the end of this. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hit a like, if, a like if you like this. Comment down below what your favorite parts of the movie was. Or maybe just make some suggestions of other video movies I can check out. We've already got a bunch already and i got a bunch lined up in the future here. But I haven't been able to find them all yet and we're working on it. Thank you for joining me. Have fun. Keep gaming. And I'll see you guys again next time.